Sometimes golf just doesn't go your way. This round, for example, this is the last round of horrible golf I will play this year. If you haven't seen my first, worst, best, and last video from this round, do not be fooled by all these pretty pictures. This is Oregon liquid sunshine. Welcome to spring. Thankfully, I'm headed to Mexico a little over a month after this round was shot. So, ole! It's early in the round, but at this point, I'm thinking about enjoying a glass of bourbon and a nice hot shower. This is acceptable bogey golf. On or around, off the tee. Get it on the green. two putt and walk off. And this is what defensive golf looks like. Six iron off the tee on a 376 yard par four. Followed by a pitching wedge layup, just short of the water, where we hit gap wedge to the front. And from the front, I execute a two-putt escape for bogey. Golf exposes our true colors. And my golf color is caca. Not great. Acceptable. Uh-oh. Just no. And of all the shots this day I want back, this first putt is the one I want back the most. really leaning into the short game here. Unfortunately, I did not learn about the local rule in diseased green areas until after this cut atrocity. It's hard to believe I consider this a good tee shot on this hole, but it's 2023 and here I am. Here's the first glimpse of mature decision making in this round, opting out of the 120 yard six iron punch under the tree in favor of the high nine iron fade over the tree. And here's an 80s montage to prove that golf is a sport, not a game. Run, fatty, run. This was Four. unexpected.
Just asking too much of my short game at this point. It's given all she's got, and I don't think she'll take any more. Have I told you about my plans for Mexico yet? Look at me stunting. No one told me I just shot 51 on the front. I have a theory that like mountains, trees attract mass. Specifically the mass of my golf ball. A hot bowl of chili dip on this cold rainy day. The evidence proving my theory regarding trees and mass has really been stacking up. And that about sums it up. If you can't have fun, what are you doing out there? I wasn't keeping score during the round, so I kind of forgot about this hole until I saw the video. Enjoy it. It's the pinnacle of my back nine performance. That's more like it. I think the worst feeling in golf is going with the safe shot, only to screw it up. Yeah. More data for my theory on trees. Followed by another nail safe shot. You know, the practice swing after the shot is the way, the truth, and the light. All things considered, bogey is an acceptable outcome on this hole. It's really an acceptable outcome on just about any hole for me. I don't have a lot to say about this hole, so I won't. More data. Also my current leader for shortest drive of the year. But somehow, some way, I managed to find some respectability after that tee shot.
Bubba style. Major cart path reboundage. All systems are go for complete and full meltdown. Okay, I know what you're thinking, but that drive is twice as far as the tee shot on 16. But again, I managed to string together a few respectable shots after publicly humiliating myself again from the tee. and the bogey putt drops for a 47 on the back. I didn't even sniff 90, let alone break it. I'm stuck in the 90s when I just want to be living in the 80s. Totally awesome. <laughs> 